UC Davis biologist Neil Hunter has been picked as a Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator, one of only about 300 in the country. We're very excited about some of the insights that we've made. We're moving into territory that we've never studied before. The Institute will pay for his salary and research lab for the next five years. Hunter had already won an early career award from the HHMI. Well, I think it really freed up a lot of time and with the extra money allowed me to, to explore, th explore areas that I think I wouldn't have been able to with traditional lines of funding. Hunter studies a process called recombination, which cells use to repair DNA and make sure they get the right amount of DNA when they divide. A cell in meiosis will essentially self-inflict damage by breaking chromosomes in multiple places and homologous recombination then uses those breaks to match the chromosomes and bring them together. At least one of those recombination sites must develop into a crossover where the chromosomes are actually exchanging. And it can be more than one, but there's always at least one. Um, <clears throat> and the question we're asking is how is that efficient, how is that process evolved to become incredibly efficient. What needs to occur during fertilization when the, uh, when the gametes meet and fuse their nuclei is you need to restore precisely a diploid chromosome number, so that's two sets of chromosomes, one from mom, one from dad. And if there's an imbalance, so if there's one chromosome missing or one extra chromosome, that is typically incompatible with development and the fetus will not develop fully and usually results in spontaneous miscarriage.